Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away and once again I'm putting it over to you to show off your workstations, workspaces, hobby rooms, uh, anywhere where you work or have your collection stored. It's time for another episode of Welcome to the Cave. And no, before I start, this isn't a product placement. Mrs. Welder Wayne got my uh, Kraken bottle I used the other day and put lights in it. So uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, I've now got my uh, Kraken bottle there. And uh, I've also got my Let's Get Kraken t-shirt in the store at the moment. This is my original Let's Get Cracking t-shirt. So I thought that was a good tie into my merchandise store. Normally when you watch a video, you should see all my merch down the bottom there. So scroll through that and see what I've got at the moment. Now, if today's videos have a theme, I'd say chance meetings. That's today's theme because uh, the two people that have submitted today, I've either actually met or almost met. And I'll explain that as we go along. So the first video I've got for you is from Phil over at Spruverse. And I'm gonna put uh, Phil's link down there over to Spruverse. He's got an Instagram site there. They are working on a web page at the moment as well. Now I had the absolute pleasure of meeting Phil in London last year and uh, we went to dinner, we talked about all the things that are a passion to us. We're both doing the HMS Victory that I've got here, which is brilliant. Uh, but Phil's real inspiration was things like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and that whole genre of under the sea things. And as you can see by some of the models that he's been building here, like the Nautilus, um, <laughs> it's really amazing some of the models he's building. That's uh, the Pegasus Nautilus, I believe. Uh, but another Pegasus model he's been building at the moment is the Mlev 5, the Mar Hopper from Pegasus Models and uh, if you see these pictures he's putting it together now and not only does it look amazing it looks really difficult look at all the wires on there but uh, check out Phil's hobby room Now, if I've learned anything from seeing Phil's room is uh, A, I need bigger space, B, I need a hell of a lot more paint than I've got there, but uh, it's pretty impressive what he's got there. Um, and we've got a picture of uh, Phil here on his Instagram sitting in the uh, hobby room doing work, which I think is really good. But the thing that absolutely made my day is uh, Phil just recently sent me a picture uh, he's wearing one of my Let's Get Cracking shirts while he's doing the MLEV and uh, I thought that was brilliant and you can see that posted on the Instagram site as well. But thank you so much for that, Phil. I uh, hope to see you again in the future. Now the next video is from Svi and you know Svi from the live chat sites and uh, he's always chatting and contributing towards the channel. Now Svi's got a couple of sites. He's got an Instagram group and a YouTube channel which I'm going to link down there as well. Now last summer I did try to meet Svi down in uh, Eastleigh where he works and as you can see I've got a picture here uh, but unfortunately Mrs. me and Mrs. Welder Wayne uh, picked to go on a Sunday when uh, his shop was actually closed so uh, oh well we'll have to try and do that next time. But Sfi is just the king of artistry, and I'm talking models, I'm talking airbrushing, uh, and I'm talking collectibles as well. You should see some of the collectibles that he's got in this video here. Uh, I think the things to point out in this video here is the snake that he doesn't mention at all, and he comments saying, oh, I, think, yeah, I think everything you got there is brilliant, but the snake. And uh, Mrs. Welder Wayne was particularly drawn to the squirrels that you'll see right at the start of this video as well. As a matter of fact, she's got some ideas, Sfi, for your missus uh, about a squirrel that she should do. But I'm sure she'll speak to you uh, offline about that but anyway this is Svee's workstation hey all it's me Svee um here's my little tour of my man cave office area thing um it is just one half of my living room so sort of like the dining room bit I've got a very long living room uh, forgive the mess and uh, I used to use that shed Here's my husky. Um, but my wife complained that she never saw me. <laughs> so uh, I moved it into the living room so she would always see me while I'm tinkering away. Um, so what we've got first, we've got my, my R2-D2, which has been a work in progress for a very, very, very long time. Uh, there's so many hundreds of hours of print time in, in this little beauty and many, many rolls of filament, and there's a long way to go. And and my Iron Man helmet. I, I tried out ASA filament on this one, for those of you who are interested, and um, it keeps cracking. 
I don't know if the temperature was too low or what, but I just keep knocking it, and every time I knock it, it cracks, which is a bugger. But never mind. Uh, what we got? We got all the other bits for R2 that I've printed so far. Uh, back panels and periscopes and stuff. I've uh, been working on that Lego Ghostbusters firehouse for about a year now. I will get it finished one day. Uh, my 3D printer. My uh, my dad is heavily into his 3D printing, and uh, and he made this, bless him, and then uh, decided it was too big and gave it to me. Because he's awesome like that. <laughs> Uh, underneath that, I've got two other 3D printers. If I move this out of the way, hiding in this little cupboard, I've got uh, any cubic i3 Mega, and I've also got a Prusa of some shape or form, but that's got a few issues at the moment. Um, I got I got to spend some time sorting out the Z axis because it's got a bit of a problem um what next that's where i keep all my paints and this i used to do a few airbrush conventions and stuff so keeping it all mobile was um a useful thing to do but with my airbrush paints is even more in the bottom bit because i've got a few you can never have too many paints which is what i say that's that. Next along, what do we have? We have my painting station. Um, that's where I do all my airbrushing and stuff. That's one of my guitars I'm currently working on. Uh, I actually bought that about five, six years ago. Um, one of the most expensive guitars I've ever bought. It was over a grand. And, uh, and I was like, I'm going to paint this paint job on it. And started it, never finished it, and it's been sat in its case ever since i've never actually played the thing <laughs> so i'm actually gonna finish it now thanks to this pandemic uh this little paint tray i made the other day out of some old pine cladding i had kicking around if you follow me on social media you would have seen pictures of that um my small obsession with ghostbusters just uh, a little one i used to have so much more stuff but the kids need food so i had to sell it uh, my 3D printed proton pack. This is the second proton pack I've ever made. Um, again, first one I flogged because the kids wanted food. I charged this up at Halloween when I went trick or treating, and I haven't charged it since. And uh, it's still going strong. <laughs> the batteries last forever. It's really cool. I sat. You see that flashing away in the background of my videos if you watch me at all. Um, she's got no head. <laughs> she fell off the shelf and her head is under the desk there behind my air compressor somewhere. I've I've never pulled it out and had a look. Um, what's next? Uh, we have... There you go, Wayne. There's my paintbrushes in a little 3D printed pumpkin I did. And various rust and mud and what have you, special effects paint kits. Uh, another guitar I'm currently working on. Then we go round, back door, isn't that exciting? My R2, that's where he sits. Uh, if you watch my videos, you'll see that's where I sit, facing there. So you always see that in the background. But this is the other side. It's my PC. Uh, various projects I've got on the go. It's a, a little diorama that I've printed at the moment. Ecto-1's engine. Again, if you watch my videos, you'll see that I'm currently doing videos on how I did this. That's there. I'm up to issue 9, I believe. That's the next one. But I want to get all that video edited first and uploaded. Uh, I also build lightsabers. Those are the ones I'm working on. Um, a 3D printed... Lady Deadpool, which you really can't see because of the light, but if I move her, everything will probably fall down. Uh, Supergirl, and there is a Captain Marvel back there as well. Um, another 3D printed 
project there. I've got to stick that hose pipe on there yet. Um, my beautiful PC. Uh, picture of my son did. Uh, but yeah, this is like the electronics half. And that over there is the paint half. So I've, I've got it kind of split into two. Um, so yeah, that is my setup. When I'm recording, that's my face camera, a little webcam. That's my overhead camera, a camcorder. And then I use my phone for the, the close-up camera. And that is my setup. I'm currently in the process of rigging up some cameras for over here as well. Um, so I can live stream when I'm airbrushing and stuff. But um, cameras are coming up a bit short. <laughs> I've got one little one here. This little thing that I can use. Uh, and I've got my DSLR camera there. That might be enough, but we'll have to see. But there you go. That is my little um, man cave. Oh, and... Uh, just for a giggle, to show you how many projects I've got on the go at any one time. Every one of those tubs is a different project. <laughs> you got lightsaber bits and proton pack bits, ghost trap bits, all sorts. Every one of them equates to a different project. <laughs> I don't like working on one thing at once. But there you go, that is my little setup. That's where the magic happens, as they say. <laughs> Now tomorrow we've got three submissions for you. We've got Gene Snyder, we've got Revo Dave, and we've got Ian Knights. Uh, so we're going to be showing those caves off as well. But I really love this feature because it gives me ideas to see what you've done. And also it gives me ideas of what I really want to do, uh, but it's going to have to be on my wish list. So uh, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. And also show some love to the people that are in these videos and subscribe to their channels respectively, their Instagrams, their YouTubes, uh, because we we are one big community and it's great to actually get us all together. Take care.